And good morning, math. Good morning again, math wizards of room 502, virtual room 502. And uh, you need to get your problem set out, and it's page uh, 17. So let's get right to that. Is that right? No, no. Wow, Mr. Leggett's eyes are saying page 77, not even close. And this is module two, of course. Today's date is 10 08 2020. All right, let's dig right in to the problem set. All right, and we're just going to do the first page. The total weight in grams of a can of tomato and a jar of baby food is shown to the right. The jar of baby food weighs 113 grams. How much does the can of tomatoes weigh? So together, they weigh 671 grams, and uh, the baby food weighs 113 grams. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a tape diagram. Not a lot of room here. Okay, so together we know, and I'm going to just kind of blow over my question there. Look at the scale. They weigh 671 grams. And we know the baby food weighs 113 grams. I'm giving you guys fourth grade math here. So what we don't know is this. How much does that can of tomato weighs? Baby food, 113 grams. Together, 671 grams. What we don't know is the can of tomato. So what we're going to have to do is subtract this from that. 671 minus 113. I want you to go ahead and pause the recording and try to get, <coughs> get that one on your own. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And welcome back. I cannot take three grand. Oops. Grams, grams. We'll put the grams down here. I can't take three grams away from one, one gram, so I'm going to decompose the tens and make that six tens. Bring the ten over here, so that'll be 11 grams. 11 minus 3, 11, 10, 9, 8. 6 minus 1 is 5, and 6 minus 1 is 5. So the can of tomatoes weighs 558 grams. See how that works? 558 grams plus 113 grams would equal 671 grams. I'm sure there's more room for me to prove it. How much more does the can of tomatoes weigh than the jar of baby food? Okay, so how much more does it weigh than the jar of baby food? So now we have to take the, the total weight of the tomatoes, 558 grams, and we're going to subtract the weight of the baby food. And go ahead and pause the recording so you can do the math on your own. And welcome back. Going to bring down the unit of measurement grams. Eight minus three, seven, six, five. Five minus one is four, and five minus one is four. So the tomatoes weighs the tomatoes. Can of tomatoes weighs four hundred forty-five grams more than the baby food. Okay, got that? Got it. Good. You could, you could get kind of confused here because you think, okay, that that no, but but so so five hundred fifty-eight grams. The weight of the tomatoes. And we minus the weight of the baby food, we get 445, 445 grams. Okay. All right, let's keep going. The weight of a pen in grams is shown to the right. It looks like it weighs six grams. What is the total weight of 10 pens? Okay, so one pen weighs six grams. What would 10 pens weigh? Well, we could do that whole little number bond thing, but I think you guys are uh, really sharp. You could just go six pens. Right, we have a six, total of six pens. We're going to multiply them by ten. So six times ten would equal what? We know that sixty. There we go. An empty box weighs eighty-two grams. What is the total weight of a box of ten pens? What? An empty box weighs eighty-two grams. What is the total weight of a box of ten pens? Oh, okay. So the empty box weighs eighty-two grams. So we have the box here. And then we're going to add on the, the total weight of a box of 10 pens. Well, we, we determined 10 pens equals 60. So all we're going to do is add, okay? So bring down your unit of measure. You could pause the tape and do the rest. 2 plus 0 is 2. Come on back. 8 plus 6 is 14. So the box and the pens would weigh 142 grams. The total weight of an apple, lemon, and bananas in grams is shown to the right. If the apple and lemon together weigh 370, 17 grams, what is the weight of the banana? Okay, so all three of those, I'm going to make a quick little tape diagram. All three 
weigh 508 grams. Okay, 508 grams. The apple and lemon together weigh 317 grams. Probably pretty close to like when we were weighing fruit. Remember that oh, everything was coming out from like 160? So together they weigh 317 grams. What we don't know is the weight of the banana. So to find the weight of the banana, we're going to take 508 and subtract 317. So 508 grams subtract 317 grams, and that'll give us this chunk right here of how much the banana weighs. Bring down my grams. 8 grams minus 7 grams is 1 gram. I can't take 10 grams away from 0 grams, so I'm going to decompose my 100 grams, make that 400, and make this 10 hundredths. So 10 hundredths, excuse me, 10 tens minus 1 ten is 9, or 100 minus 1 is 10, 100 minus 10 is 90, and 400 minus 300 is 1, so the banana weighs 191 grams. So if we add this to this, we'll get that. So we have 191 grams to so 317 grams, we'll get 508 grams. Our next one, if we know the lemon weighs 68 grams uh, less than the banana, how much does the lemon weigh? So the banana we've determined weighs 191 grams. This is the banana, 191 grams. Once again, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause. And um, the lemon weighs 68 grams less than the banana. So I'm going to put here 68 grams. So how do we figure out what the mystery is here of how much the lemon weighs? We know the lemon weighs less, 68 grams less than the weight of the banana, which, which we determined was 191 grams. So we're going to do some subtraction. 191 grams subtract 68 grams. All right. Go ahead and pause the tape, but I want you to try to crack this problem on your own. And welcome back. Bring down my grams. I can't take 8 grams away from 1 gram, so I'm going to decompose 10 grams. That becomes 80. And I bring 10 over here. 10 plus 1 is 11 grams. 11 minus 8, 9, 9 to 11 is 3. 80 minus 60 is 20. And we bring down the 1. And that lemon weighs 123 grams. Remember, our lemons were weighed like 165, 160. I guess our California lemons are bigger and better than those that are in New York, where this comes from. <laughs> of course, they don't grow lemons in New York. Too cold. So never mind I said that. I apologize, New York. Okay, what is the weight of the apple? Oh, 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 oh. Boy, those Eureka math folks. And now we're going to determine the weight of the apple. So we know that the lemon weighs 123 grams, right? We know together... The apple and the lemon weigh 317 grams, right? Here's our lemon and apple, and there's our banana. So what we have to do is we have to take the weight of the lemon and apple together and subtract the, rate, the weight of the lemon, which we determined to be 123 grams. So we're going to say 317 grams, and we're just going to subtract 123 grams. And let's just take a quick tape diagram just to show you a little clearer. We know that the lemon and apple together weigh 317 grams. Boy, I wish I had more room. Right? And so what we're going to do is figure out that the... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. So you tell me together... The lemon and the apple, they weigh one, they weigh 317 grams? Yeah, Princess Yvonne, they weigh, they weigh, look, right there, can you see? Oh yes, I see, they weigh 317 grams together. Yeah, they do, so we're, we determine the weight of the lemon, 123 grams? Yeah, the lemon weighs 123 grams, so we're going to subtract that from what they weigh together. Oh, so you need to finish tape diagram. Yes, I need to finish the tape diagram, Princess Yvonne. Well, why don't you get to it, silly? Well, because I was getting to it, but you interrupted. Ah, I like to interrupt. I know you do, Princess Yvonne. Oh, yeah, Princess Yvonne. So we know the lemon weighs 123. What we don't know is what the apple weighs, and that's the mystery. But we know together the 317, so let's do the subtraction. Pause the tape. And welcome back. Bring down the grams. 3 grams taken away from 7 grams is 4 grams. 
I can't take away 20 grams from 10 grams, so I'm going to decompose this 100. Uh, 10 hundreds plus 100 is 11, excuse me, 10 tens plus 110 is 11 tens, or 110. 11 minus 2 is 9, and 2 minus 1 is uh, 1. So right there is our answer, 194 grams. So the lemon, 123, we determined, and the apple weighs 194. That was really quite a problem. Thank you for being such a wonderful student. Uh, log on to IXL until 1030 when it's recess.